Hey, what's up you guys? Apologies for the wind. I know it is a very windy day here in London. Which is why I'm stood behind this tree because I'm hoping it will give me some shelter. You know, I can just stand in its crevice and hopefully there will not be as much in the microphone. So that's why I'm where I am. That's what's happening. Ooh, light though. Ooh, beautiful. Yes, I'm right. Yes. So, we are about to go into the Experimental Perfume Club, which is a place here in London where, yeah, you've guessed it, they make perfumes, or you make a perfume. So, basically what happened was, I have been finding scents too overwhelming of late. I've been finding uh, male aftershaves just a bit too much, and everything is a bit too strong for me. So I've decided that I'm gonna go make my own. So I found this place on the internet that will allow you to make your own fragrance and have it tailored to your bespoke, kind of, Je ne sais quoi, the thing that makes you, you. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do a little perfume making class, La Perfumere, and hopefully come out with something that smells like icing, vanilla, and sex. So, make sure to stay tuned, and if you would like to make your own fragrance, if you would like to make your own stank, I will leave all of the details of the Experimental Perfume Club in the box down below. So make sure to check it out. Okay, let's go make some scents. Although I do actually have to find the place first and uh, my sense of direction is a little bit shit so I've been walking around in circles for the last like 10 minutes Should probably get my phone out my bag and map it shouldn't I? Yep, went the complete opposite direction um, Now I'm probably going to be late so that's fun um, Still trying to find it Still a little bit windy My hair is blowing all over the place but um, yeah, probably around like 10 minutes out. It's not too bad. At least it's nice and sunny and get some time to walk, but it's not some kind of like alleyway. I don't know where I am, man. I don't come to this part of London very often. It's a bit too, um, what's the word? It's a bit too fancy. It's not even fancy, it's like fake fancy. It's a bit too bougie for moi, for my personal tastes. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna consult the map. Okay, so I believe I have found it. It's kind of a creepy alley, um, so I'm sure it's beautiful when we get down there. Before we get down there, yeah, it's a creepy alley, so uh, let's go down the creepy alley. guys so I have returned back to my humble abode and oh my gosh that class was sh amazing it was so good the instructor was so sweet and the entire the entire thing was a grade A experience. I only used one high note in the entire thing and it was only 5% of the entire fragrance is a high note. So the pretty much entirety of it is made up of different bases. Um, primarily vanilla, tonka, amber and seawater. Um, which actually I think that's a mid, but whatever. The lady who was going on, um, who was giving the class, she smelled it and she was like, oh, I like that. And I was like, yeah, you do, girl. Yeah, you do. It makes you sad after you smell it. And that is exactly what I want. I want to embrace someone and leave and have them feel sad because I've left. Like, that is exactly what this scent does, and I highly recommend 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, that you go 
Bottom line, cut and dry to the Experimental Perfume Club. Have yourself a grand old time. It is a great cause. It's a great day. I want to do some advanced perfumery now because I feel like I may have found another calling in life. But yes, so that is it from me. I had an amazing day. I had an amazing time. Um, if you are in London and you would like to make your own perfume or fragrance of any nature, I will leave links to everything in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. You can find links to all of my socials down below, so make sure to say hi. And until next time, as always, kisses from England. Bye guys!